Welcome to Nagaland TV. I'm Yashira and you're watching NLTV Midday News. First headlines. Padma Bhushan awardee and former Nagaland Chief Minister Dr. S.C. Jamir is scheduled to reach Dimapur at around 1 p.m. President Ramnath Kovin greeted the citizens of the nation on the occasion of Chat Puja on Wednesday. Nagaland Chief Minister on Tuesday virtually inaugurates the People's Bridge. The total cost of the 70 feet bridge and the road is rupees 1.20 crores, while there were contributions in kind. The Central Board of Secondary Education has decided to deploy advanced data analytics in an effort to curb unfair practices during exams. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavya declares India having vaccine certificate packed with 96 countries including US, UK and many European and Middle East nations. And now the news in detail. President Ramnath Kovind greeted the citizens of nation on the occasion of Chat Puja on Wednesday. He expressed his wish that the festival would strengthen people's efforts to protect the environment. He further stated that this festival is an occasion to acknowledge our dependence on nature, especially the sun and water. Notably, Chat Puja is celebrated widely across North India, especially in Bihar and eastern Uttar Pradesh. Prayers during Chat Puja are dedicated to the solar deity, Su to show gratitude and thankfulness for bestowing the bounties of life on earth. Furthermore, this year the festival started with Nahai Khyai on November 8, 2021 and will conclude with Usha Argya on November 11, 2021. Padma Bhushan awardee and former Nagaland Chief Minister Dr. S.C. Jamir is scheduled to reach Dimapur at around 1 p.m. on Wednesday. Dr. Jamir, who is a veteran Naga politician and a four-time CM of the state, has been recently conferred with country's third highest civilian award. The ceremony took place on November 8 at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi. As the senior politician is the first Naga leader to be awarded with the Padma Bhushan, he is expected to be received with great welcome by the people of the state. Meanwhile, security arrangements in the Dimapur airport has been tightened, while our Senso Telongjem Dimapur, Tribal Hoho under Naga Council Dimapur, and all the unit leaders have gathered to welcome Dr. Jamir. Notably, the four-time CM of Nagaland also served as a former governor of Orissa, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Goa. Dr. Jamir is being honoured with the Padma Bhushan for his exceptional and distinguished service in the field of public affairs. Born on 17 October 1931 in Ungma village Magukchong, Dr. Jamir is the first ever Naga politician to receive the award. The veteran politician whose political career spans over 60 years is considered an authority on Naga political history. Union Health Minister Mansung Mandavya on Tuesday said that 96 countries have agreed to mutual recognition of COVID-19 vaccination certificates with India. It is to be noted that HWHO, who has included eight vaccines in emergency use listing so far and two out of these are Indian vaccines, which is Covaxin and Covishield, Mandavya stated that the government continues to be in communication with the rest of the world so that beneficiaries of the world's largest COVID-19 vaccination program are accepted and recognized, thereby easing travel for education, business and tourism purposes. Among 96 nations include Canada, the United States of America, Australia, Spain, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Belgium, Russia and Switzerland. Mandavi also informed that over 109 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered so far in the country. The Central Board of Secondary Education has decided to deploy advanced data analytics in an effort to curb unfair practices during exams. The board informed that they will use advanced data analytics to detect 
respond and therefore in the long run prevent any irregularities in academic testing across all major CBSE administered exams in the country. Notably, on the basis of such analysis, CBSE aims to identify examination centers where the data indicates the existence of malpractices during the conduct of examinations. Earlier in January 2021, a pilot analysis of this solution was carried out on CTET examination data in collaboration with Central Square Foundation and Play Power Labs to develop algorithms to identify suspicious data patterns at the center and the individual test taker level. Based on analysis, result and the algorithms developed, CBSC has decided that such analysis will be extended to other administered examinations. Nobel Prize winner and education activist Malala Yousafzai on Tuesday tied the knot with Pakistan cricket coach at a small ceremony in England. The 24-year-old announced her marriage on Twitter and shared images of her nikah. Malala Yousafzai is a Pakistani activist for girls' education and the youngest Nobel Prize winner in history. In 2012, she gained global recognition when she was shot in the head by Taliban in northwest Pakistan for advocating the basic right of education for girls. The attack on Malala caused Pakistan to create their first right to education bill. Notably, she has also published a book about her attack and its aftermath called I Am Malala. The People's Bridge at Longpang Village was inaugurated on 9th November 2021 by Chief Minister Nafu Rio. The inaugural function was held at Hotel Vivor, Kohima. Notably, the People's Bridge was constructed within a span of 16 months through a joint initiative of many civil bodies, government bodies, Assam Rifles and the Community General Secretary. NBCC Reverend Zelho graced the ceremony and said the dedicatory prayer. in the future. Indeed, I'm delighted to be launching this The People's Bridge. And the video clippings and also the speeches made by the people who are involved. <coughs> It is very heartwarming, very satisfying, and <clears throat> I am once again seeing so much strength in our community. It is my privilege to have launched the People's Bridge over the river Fiji. Amid the incessant rainfall in Tamil Nadu, the authorities on Tuesday issued a flood warning for Thane district and adjoining low-lying areas as the Vaigai Dam released 1,000 cusacks of water on Tuesday night. Earlier, the Tamil Nadu government declared local holidays on November 10 and 11 for nine districts, that is Chennai, Kanche, Kanchirupam, Nagapatinam, Thanjavur, Thiruvajapur and Mayaladda Thurai after the weather department predicted the heavy rains for the next couple of days. Furthermore, revenue and disaster management officials have asked people on the banks of the river to move to safety and to refrain from bathing in the river for the in the river or the channels reconnecting or connecting the rivers downstream. <laughs> The Delhi Regional Security Dialogue on Afghanistan gets underway in New Delhi. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval chairs the Regional Security Dialogue on Afghanistan in New Delhi. National Security Advisor's Secretary from Iran, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan taking part in the dialogue. NSA Ajit Doval says greater cooperation and interaction among regional countries will help people of Afghanistan and enhance collective security.
That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.